As of today, the state is now lifting the indoor curfew for bars and restaurants. Yes, yeah, starting today, business owners can now choose to stay open after midnight. Governor Cuomo first put the restriction in place last November, saying at the time, indoor dining in public was likely partially to blame for spreading COVID. He loosened the curfew in recent months, moving it from 10 o'clock to midnight. Heads up for parents. For kids ages 12 through 17, the sweepstakes is underway for them to get vaccinated and take a chance at a free ride at any SUNY school. A full ride, tuition, fees, room and board, all covered for four years. They're going to do 50 random drawings over the next several weeks. Kids need to have at least one dose to qualify. The link to register is at localsyr.com. And Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is making a new push that would make I-81 jobs local. She's, she's suggesting a law that would require at least half of the workers on the $2 billion project be hired from right here in Syracuse. The bill would also guarantee at least one-third of new infrastructure contracts go to minority women or veteran-owned businesses. Well, unlike last year, there are some holiday parades today to observe Memorial Day. Fayetteville will kick off its parade at 9 o'clock this morning. East Syracuse, the festivities there get underway at 1 p.m. And the Village of Jordan will host a Memorial Day parade of bands starting at 2.30 this afternoon. A full list of the events can be found at localsyr.com. And get a vaccine? Get a free pass to state parks. It's one of the state's latest pushes to get more shots in arms, hoping to use the holiday as leverage. Today, Green Lake State Park in Fayetteville and Taganic Falls State Park in Trumansburg are serving up serving pop-up clinics. Both sites will serve single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccines, and it's first come, first serve. Emotions high and low for college lacrosse teams from central New York yesterday. The Lemoyne men won their sixth national championship, beating Lenore Ryan 12 to 6. However, the SU women's lacrosse team fell to Boston College in their NCAA title game. They were vying for their first national title, but BC beat the Orange 16 to 10.